Atlanta LaFouche Board Commission's meeting will now come to order. Let's see. Mr. Mike Kilner, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Yes, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, next we have roll call in the absence of Mr. Mike Colley. Mr. Ronnie Gisclair will give roll call. Okay, uh, Chucky Sheremy. Here. Johnny Ordon. Here. Jimmy LaFont. Here. <clears throat> Rodney J. Gisclair Sr. Here. Curtis Pierce. Here. Larry Griffin. Here. John Melison. Here. Mike Colley, absent. Chris Colley. Here. And that's a uh, roll call. We have a forum. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jiskier. If I can mention, yes, Mr. 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 Colley is absent <laughs> officially, but he is on, on the phone listening and um, we'll okay. ask questions if they come up for him. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sh Chasson, Mr. Jiskier. Next, moving on. Approved minutes for September 10th, 2020, and September 23rd. 2020 meeting. We need a motion. Moved by Mr. Johnny Ordon, second by Mr. Chris Colley. <clears throat> any uh, any good discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next, we move on executive director's report. Mr. Shasson. Thank you, Mr. President. First is our northern expansion, a northern expansion slip C, 1100 foot east, bulkhead, PCL and Associates, Joe PCL. Uh, yes, yeah, Shaver's Widows, the contractor, they're, um, they finished driving all the steel sheets. They're still welding on the whaler beam and the pipe bumper. Uh, they are pouring uh, concrete dead man and also uh, driving piles. Uh, they are a little bit behind schedule, but we are giving them a, recommending a change order later in the agenda for 36 days of additional contract time. That's uh, during, uh, due mostly to weather and also uh, the storms that we've had and some delays they've had directly because of the COVID virus, uh, getting work crews, namely to come work on uh, forming up for the concrete dead man. So we're gonna recommend that you approve that change order. <laughs> Other than that, everything else is going well. Question. There are no ad additional costs to the extended days, correct? No, it's just time. All right, thank you. Thank you. In Northern Expansion, Slip D, and Bayou Lafouche Dredge Project, GIS Engineering. John, please. On. Okay, we took bids on this project two weeks ago. Y'all awarded a special meeting. Uh, Crosby Dredging is the contractor. The contracts have been signed. Uh, we're waiting and getting them recorded, and so they should be starting hopefully sometime toward the end of the month. All right. Any questions for John? Okay, thank you. Thank you, John. Okay, moving on to airport projects. Joe Wheeler. Uh, for the month of uh, September, we had 1,740 operations, 6,535 passengers, and then uh, 14,598 cars on airport road. Slowly returning to normal, still off a little bit, but uh, things are looking better for sure. Questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. And the airport connector road and bridge, PCO and Associates. Yeah, so the design plans are complete and approved by DOTD. We have some minor changes uh, that we're going to be making in the next month or two, mostly to do with bridge controls and some environmental notes. We do have environmental permitting all complete, everything signed off. The only thing uh, lacking there is a Coast Guard permit, which we we're, uh, we're anticipate getting that fairly soon. Uh, DOTD has tentatively set a, a letting date, a date to accept bids on December the 9th. That may get delayed some into January, uh, primarily due to obtaining right of ways and uh, all that's associated, the work associated with that. But um, everything else is going well. Our, our right of ways, I leave it up to Bryce if he wants to give an update. Right, so our schedule for completing the uh the right-of-way acquisition is middle of December, and we're we're you know on schedule to do that. We are currently receiving uh, appraisals on the the 
property that we need to acquire for temporary construction servitudes and uh, Batur pieces. So those are being collected now <coughs> and submitted to DOT as they're reviewed for approval. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and we have other projects, the Tidal Creek Bridge and Culvert Improvements, PCO Land Associates. So this project's a project to um, extend the Tidal Creek uh, into Flotation Canal and create a, a concrete bridge um, <coughs> along a Flotation Canal Road extension, and then also extend the culverts that go into the commercial marina, uh, add a, a wharf there for cast netting and also a kayak launch there. Uh, we did receive bids last week. Our low bidder was Lowland Construction in the amount of $774,300, and we do recommend that you award that today. Okay. Any questions on this project? Uh, the, the bridge, uh, just to clarify to the public, we <coughs> had some questions about why we have to build a bridge versus uh, culverts or uh, or anything like that is that re required for um, our thing was to, to build the bridge was to let the flow go through for the tidal creeks okay. I mean it was a certain amount of flow that they wanted the, for the current exchange back and forth and then that's why we proposed we proposed and permitted a bridge rather than culverts okay. now, the bridge is a stout bridge I mean yeah it's built to uh, enter you know DOTD interstate standards because we have a concrete plant on the other side, so we have concrete trucks mm -hmm. passing there a lot. So it is a hefty bridge. Good. Yeah. Good. Uh -huh. <coughs> Thank you. And I, and I would imagine in the event of flooding, that opening, you know, if water would come over and we'd be inundated from the Grand Isle side, would give us a better way for water to dissipate and exit from that that larger opening. Correct. Yeah. When, whenever you have open channel flow. Uh, versus culvert flow. I mean, you get two times more flow with an open channel, and then the bridge allows an open channel. There's no, you'd have to put a lot of culverts to equal the area that we we draining, and that's primarily the reason why they they like to have a bridge is because if you get flooding, they want the water to go out fast. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't damage the marsh. I, I get asked that question a lot too. That's sure. why I would like to to you know visit that reasoning more. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And the front commercial marina boat shed and lift, GIS Engineering, John. <laughs> we are currently uh, advertising for this project. Our pre-bid conference is tomorrow, so we'll be taking bids probably in, in a couple of weeks and time for your November meeting. Okay. Any questions on that? And that's for um, the vessel we already took delivery of earlier in the year. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any public comment? Uh, Mr. President, we have uh, Mr. Kenneth Nico Duce who wants to make a, an announcement for his re-election. And also Mr. Willis Stoops for the Congo Medical Council. I'm not going to tell you my age because I'd be selling out one of the members. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'm no stranger to uh, y'all. Uh, I've been involved in law enforcement now for about 35 years. I presently, I'm, presently, I'm the constable and I'm running for re-election. Let me just say a few words about being a constable. One of your jobs is that you evict people. Another one of your jobs is you seize bank accounts. And the last of your job is that you uh, serve civil papers. During the short time that I have been a constable, I have, uh, which is a little over four and a half years, I have evicted over 400, uh, 400 evictions. I have seized three bank accounts, and I served over 100 civil suits and made three arrests. Uh, the people down here know who I am. I have always done a good job while I worked at the sheriff's office. And uh, I appreciate it if y'all would vote for me. My number is 82 on the ballot. And uh, I will pray for your officer that got involved in the accident this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Toops. 
Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for giving me the opportunity to address you all this morning. My name is Willis Toops. I'm a lifelong resident of Golden Meadow, 1959 graduate of Golden Meadow High School, two-year attendance at Nichols State University. Uh, I'm president married to Diane Toops. We have uh, two kids, four grandkids, and three great-grandkids. So uh, I'm not, I haven't moved more than 100 feet from where I was born and raised in the town of Golden Meadow. I'm um, probably ser serving my second term, or looking forward to my third term in a couple of weeks. Uh, give a little background, I've been in the business for over 50 years, doing tax work, accounting work, notary work, almost to the point I know what I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> uh, I served on the hospital board for I think 16 years, 14 or 15 as chairman. Uh, right now, um, the, uh, my wife and I are both electors at the, house, at the uh, church. I served on the finance committee of the church for 25 years now. Uh, 10 years ago, I think, or 12 years ago, they asked me to become commander of the American Legion. I told them I've given five years, and it's been 12 years <laughs> already. So we've been serving, we've been very active in the community. You know, uh, our first four years, I was the, uh, the, the councilman who was in charge of the solid waste. This four years, I'm in tr the councilman started with streets and lights. Also, Mayor Pro Tem, which you know, Mr. Joy doesn't show up. I'll take care of the meetings. But again, uh, if, and also, if uh, if y'all need some ballots, I got a bunch of them in, bunch of them in my car. Okay. <laughs> but again, I want to thank you all for being here, and we look forward to working with y'all again, hopefully for the next four years. And I thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any other public comment? Okay, we're moving on. Next, we have executive committee. Members are Chuck E. Shirley, Chairman, Rodney Gisclair, Sr., Mike Colley, John Nelson, Jr. First, we have consider approving request from Expert Rise Solution for rental deferral on lease sites GLF 410, GLF 414, <coughs> and GLF 617. Mr. Chasson. Okay, as, as you're aware, we received um, several uh, requests, I think seven requests from companies for um, potential rental deferral. Uh, we put together um, uh, uh, idea on what, what we could do, and um, Expert Riser was the, the first company to submit uh, an official request uh, and uh, accepting our offer of a 50% deferral and a true deferral <laughs> where after one year, they would begin paying back that def that 50 percent deferral with a little bit of interest um, for the rest of their the current term that they're in. Um, so recommendation is to approve this uh, request for expert riser, and we're going to continue to work with the other companies as they respond to us. I need a motion. Move. Moved by Curtis Pierce, second by Lyra Griffin. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next, consider approving amendment to Slum J Lease GLF 626 regarding construction of site improvements and increase in improvement rent. So um, we received this request from Slumber J uh, on their current site, GLF 626, that's uh, partially built out. They want to uh, do some more improvements to that location, uh, about $16 million worth of improvements. They're requesting us to do uh, some of the civil work. Uh, we're gonna continue to work with them and, and finalize exactly what it is that we would do, mainly uh, rock and sand and geotextile grid to stabilize the location. Again, on a current lease already that, that they have there, we would um, uh, build that uh, civil work out um, with an improvement rental on the back end. That's what this amendment would be. So. Uh, the request is for y'all to approve us to work with them on an amendment, and uh, once we finalize exactly the work that's going to be done, we'll, we'll come back to y'all to, to inform you of that. Okay, I need a motion. Move. Move. Moved by Larry Griffin, second by Rodney Judge Clare Sr. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Next, we have consider approving the counter offer to purchase property of Andrew Martin and Ace Martin. Uh, we're going to uh, defer to this till next meeting, not take any action. Anybody has any just comment on this? Okay, no. moving on. Proving the revised office closure and emergency duty pay provision. Okay, so um, 
When, when we have emergency duty pay, what, what this does is when we have an office closure and emergency duty, we have a particular policy. What this is doing is clarifying exactly how we pay our um, employees that are working emergency duty, just like we have for any hurricane or storm um, that comes up that we've had in the last several uh, months. Um, so in essence, it's mainly for Harbor Police um, that allows <coughs> when they're um, the Harbor Police that report either to the office or report to, to Fuchsia. These are non-exempt employees, so they're hourly employees. So basically they would get, when they come to work, they would get their normal work pay, which is their, you know, their normal scheduled hours. And then when, they, when they're working during an office closure or an emergency duty, they would get their overtime time and one half. So the regular pay plus time and one half. Okay? And this is also, it's a lot of that supported by my FEMA, right? Absolutely. So whenever there's a storm, um, that would be deemed emergency. Uh, that would be deemed uh, category B emergency protective measures whenever the, these guys are working. So um, a large amount of these, these, this pay that we would be reimbursed back at at least 75 <coughs> percent. Okay. Need a motion. Did you call Move. Jim Millerphone, second by John Mellison. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next, we're moving on to permits and waterways. Mm -hmm. Members are Curtis no, Curtis, no, Jerry, no, wait. One no, more. Oh, no, wait, one more. Line, Line item five. five. Consider declaring the vehicle and vessel as surplus and approved to advertise for bids. Okay, we have five items that we're looking to um, get approval to advertise for surplus <laughs> bid. Um, we have a 2010 Ford F-150. Um, with a minimum bid of 1500 We have a 2013 Ford Interceptor, um, like an Explorer, uh, with a minimum bid of $1,000. A 2004 Chevrolet Impala, minimum bid of $500. And a 2007 Dodge Ram 1500 uh, quad cab with a minimum bid of $1,000. Um, those are four vehicles. And then we have a 24-foot white fiberglass hull, uh, minimum bid of $50. Recommendation to approve. I need a motion. Move. Moved by Mr. Chris Colley, second by Mr. Curtis Pierce. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Now we're getting out of executive committee and going into permits and waterways. Members are Curtis Pierce Chairman, Jimmy LaFont, Johnny Oydor, and Chucky Sheridan. Mr. Pierce. Thank you, Mr. President. We have one permit and entails, uh, and it's, from, uh, it's for Lewis Jeremy. It entails a concrete disposal site with containers levy, approximately 201,000 cubic yards of concrete fill material will be placed on the site within the proposed pit area. The cement will be spread on site, then allowed to be broken up and placed on site as riprap to build the retainer levees. Approximately seven acres of non-vegetated water bottom may be in, impacted as a result of this proposal. And this concludes my report for permits and waterways, Mr. President. All right, thank you, Mr. Pierce. Next, we're moving on to Construction and Development Committee. Members are Larry Griffin, Chairman, Chris Colley, Jimmy Fon, Chucky Sheridan. Mr. Griffin. Thank you, Mr. President. First is consider approving change order number two from Shavers Wheeler Construction for Slip C 1100-foot East Bob Head Project. All right, this is adding 36 days to the, um, to the project timeline, um, not changing any, any cost to it. Recommendation to approve. All right, need a motion. Move. Move by Mr. Chris Colley, second by Mr. Jim LaFont. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next is consider adopting a resolution to approve an airport capital improvement program application 2021-2026. All right, so uh, for 2021 <coughs> through 2026, we do this on an annual basis, our capital improvement plan. It's a plan for the, for the future of the airport. Um, these six year CIP totals are a total estimated project cost of about 16.2 million, um, with the majority of the funding coming from other sources outside of the Port Commission. Um, of that 16.2, uh, we would commit $2.5 million. Recommendation to approve. All right, need a motion. Move. Move by Mr. Rodney Gisclair, second by Mr. John Melisone, Jr. Any discussion? Any public comment? 
All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. Next is consider approving the lowest responsive bid for the Tidal Creek Bridge and Culvert improvements. Okay, um, as Mr. Piciola mentioned earlier, uh, Lowland Construction Company Incorporated was the low bid uh, at $774,300, recommendation to approve. Mm -hmm. All right, moved by Mr. Curtis Pierce, second by Mr. Johnny Ordorn. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. And that concludes my report, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. We're getting out of uh, construction committee. We're moving into finance committee. Members are John Mellison, Jr. Chairman, Rodney Gisclair Sr., Mike Cully, and Chucky Sherman. Mr. Mellison, you're up. Good morning, and thank you, Mr. President. Maybe we could put on our agenda for the weather to continue like it is today for the rest of the year. <laughs> kind of contract. Like yeah. <laughs> Item one. Consider approving payment of the September 2020 invoices and recognizing expenditures over $10,000. Item one, <coughs> excuse me, Shaver Whittle Construction, $378,116. And that's for Slip C Phase 3 Bulkhead Part 1. Item two, Marsh USA, $211,722.50. And that's for the 2020. 2021 insurance renewals. Item three, GIS engineering, $197,637.81. And that is for a slip D dredging, GAO airport seal coat, GAO airport terminal, terminal building, general surveying, section 203 feasibility study, along with the front marina boat lift. Item four, American integration contractors, $87,331.91. That's for camera maintenance and support contract. Item five, PCO and Associates, $35,604.31. That's for Slip C, 1500 linear feet east sweep dredge, the airport connector road and bridge, the flotation canal pavilion and engineering, general engineering, along with the flotation canal and front Commercial Marine Dredge. Item six, Vision Communications, $27,468.90. That's for phone, fiber, internet, and cable services. Item seven, Grand Isle Shipyard, $21,013.78. That's for contract labor for the FBO. Item eight, <coughs> Guardian Computer, $18,683.13. That's for IT support and off-site backups. Item nine, Cutchins and Grow, LLC, $10,837.50. And that is for the airport approach, obstruction removal, and grant management services. And last, we have item 10, Stratum Engineering, LLC, $10,000 even. And that's for the airport connector, road, and bridge. These costs, along with our other expenditures, bring us to a total of $1,810,856.18 for October 14, 2020. And I'd like to make a motion we accept these expenditures. Move. I got a move, motion by Mr. John Millison Jr., second by Mr. Larry Griffin. Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. Mr. Melisol. Next, as discussed in Monday night's committee meeting, I'd like to consider approving the September 2020 unaudited financial statements. I'd like to make a motion we accept these, Mr. President. All right, got a motion by Mr. Melisol, second by Mr. Rodney or no, Sir Rodney just got <laughs> seen. Excuse me, I'm getting it, finally getting it right. Yeah, all right. Okay, doing okay. good. Any discussion? <laughs> Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passed. And next, we'll move back again into uh, adopting the 2020 Ad Valorem millage rate. And I'll turn this over to our director at this time. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, we're redoing this because of the uh, discrepancy that there was um, originally uh, when we received our well, the proposed assessments were gonna be uh, from the tax assessor, so um, the the max millage rate 
uh, when we originally approved to actually roll back to 6.54 was 7.8. It has changed to be 7.17. Um, but I'll, I'll read out the resolution because we're going to continue to go with the 6.54. So be it resolved that the following, we, do you have to, um, do we need to take a roll call, roll call before I read the, the resolution or no, not? No, you can read okay. the resolution as a proposed resolution then All right. accept then the motion second okay. roll call. So the proposed resolution reads as follows. I'm sorry for that mix up there. Be it resolved that the following millage are hereby levied on the 2020 tax roll on all property subject to taxation by the Great Lafourche Port Commission for operation and maintenance at 6.54 mills. Be it further resolved that the proper administrative officials of Parish of Lafourche, State of Louisiana, be and they are hereby empowered, authorized, and directed to spread said taxes as herein above set forth upon the assessment roll of said parish for the year 2020 and to make the collection of the taxes imposed for and on behalf of the taxing authority according to law and that the taxes herein levied shall become a permanent lien and privilege on all property subject to taxation as herein set forth and collection thereof shall be enforceable in the manner provided by law. All right. So now we need a roll call, uh, a motion and a second and a roll call. I need a, a motion. Move. By Mr. John Mellison, second by Mr. Johnny Ardorn. Now I need a roll call. Well, you need a roll call vote. Yes. All okay. right, Mr. Brodney. Okay. Chucky Sheremy. Yes. Johnny Ordorn. Yes. Jimmy LaFont. Yes. Rodney Justclair Sr. Yes. Curtis Pierce. Yes. Larry Griffin. Yes. John Mellison. Yes. Mike Colley, not yep. absent, 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 even though he's on the phone. He he's still at the Correct. Chris Colley. Yes. Uh, Mr. President, you have a, una a unanimous uh, okay. eight to one, eight zero one, one. vote. Okay. Yes. Any discussion? Any public comment? Motion passed. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Gisclair, you did a wonderful job. And Mr. President, this concludes the financial report. All right, thank you, Mr. Melisone. Now, do we have any other business? Public comment. Now, I just want to bring Mr. up- Mr. President, can things. I just say, I appreciate you accommodating me. It's Mike Kelly to be able to listen into the meeting, even though I can't be there personally present. Thank you very much. All right, Mike. Thank you for listening in. Okay. I hope you feel better, Mr. Mike. Thank you, sir. Right. Uh, I'd like to bring up a couple of things. First is uh, keep Mike and his family in your prayers, if you don't mind. Also, <laughs> the officer and the gentleman we had in the uh, wreck this morning, please like everyone to keep him and keep mine and keep prayers in your thoughts for the night. And also, I'd like to bring up something that prayers, it's a uh, breast cancer month. I mean, it's, uh, I know COVID's been covering everything, but Breast cancer kills more people than anyone, and cancer kills more people than anyone, just as much. So please consider everyone who has cancer in your prayers, if you don't mind. All right. Mr. Ardorn, any more public comment? Mm -hmm. Good meeting. Motion, motion, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. There you go. Motion by Mr. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Second by Jim uh, uh, <laughs> Any discussion? Any public comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passed. We well, really like to thank everyone for coming to our meeting. We hope to come back and very informative. Thank you all. Meeting adjourned.